Good morning. Good to study God's word with you today. And I brought my devotion helper along today. Can you say hi, Eliana? Hi. Yeah, good job. Hi. Good to study God's word with you today. She's going to count some money. And we are going to do our devotion on Luke 13. I'm going to read this section to you, verses 1 through 9. Now, there were some present at that time who told Jesus about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mixed with their sacrifices. Jesus answered, Do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all the other Galileans because they suffered this way? I tell you, no. But unless you repent, you too will all perish. Or those 18 who died when the tower in Siloam fell on them, do you think that they were more guilty than all the others living in Jerusalem? I tell you, no. But unless you repent, you too will all perish. Then he told this parable. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he went to look for fruit on it, but did not find any. So he said to the man who took care of the vineyard, For three years now I've been coming to look for fruit on this fig tree and haven't found any. Cut it down. Why should it use up the soil? Sir, the man replied, leave it alone for one more year, and I'll dig around it and fertilize it. If it bears fruit next year, fine. If not, then cut it down. So a couple instances happen here. This... Um, the sacrifices and the Siloam Tower falling um, with in regards to the sacrifice. Not too surprising, unfortunately, knowing Pilate. Um, he was a, did a lot of wicked things. And here, sacrificing of people suffering. Uh, same thing with the Tower of Siloam. Don't know much about this event, but um, an event that happened in which people suffered. And, and Jesus' point is, is this. Um, it, it can be a natural thing for us to see sufferings or people suffering and say well or when suffering happens in our lives to say that well this person did something they deserved it um or something is happening to me i must have done something to deserve it and jesus point here is to crush that thought process to think that somehow i could be better than someone else based on my own workings and jesus point in this section and then also in this parable is to point out the importance for each one of us as Christians, we are all in the same boat. Commit one sin, you've committed them all. And that one sin separates us from God for forever. In that, we are all in the same boat as, as sinful human beings. But Jesus' point is this, the importance of daily repentance. I'm going to acknowledge that, yes, I am a sinful human being, crushing my false security to think that I could somehow be better than, than you or anybody, crushing that that wants to come from within our own hearts. But Jesus says, no, the importance of each and every one of you to repent. Talking about in verse 5, you two will all perish. Not talking about a physical death, but a spiritual one. But as we do, repenting then turning from sin, and looking to the help that we have in Jesus, our Savior. And I pray that these lessons this week have allowed us to crush that false security and to look to the true security that we have in Jesus. Daily repentance, so important in a Christian's life. And I pray that we can do that today, repent, and then turn and look to the help that we have in Jesus. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for uh, taking away all our sin. And we ask that you allow us to know the importance of repentance in our daily life to acknowledge that that we are sinful human beings that fall short but to know that we don't face spiritual death but spiritual life because of the life that you give in connection with you give us that importance give us that focus to know the importance of daily repentance in our lives and then look to you for forgiveness pray this in jesus name amen amen, amen. just one announcement on uh sunday after first service, in between second service, 9.15, we will have a vote uh, to determine how we want to uh, proceed forward as a congregation in regards to calling a pastor. So I hope that you can join us uh, for this on Sunday. That's all for now. God bless your day. Eliana, can you say bye-bye? Bye. Bye. Whoa. Sorry about that. God bless your day.